Hello. Welcome. Glad you could make it. Today we're going to be talking about the Thevenin equivalent. A Thevenin's equivalent is taking a complicated circuit and transforming it into an equivalent simpler circuit with one voltage source and one resistor. Now the claim is, if you look at the low terminals on the complicated circuit, you cannot tell the difference between those terminals and the terminals on the simpler equivalent Thevenin circuit. We're going to show you today that that is in fact true. Here's a schematic of the circuit that we'll analyze. The resistors used were measured at the value shown here. This is the 19 volt power supply. It is connected here through these wires. The other wires lead to the multimeter, which will help us to find the Thevenin circuit values. The circuit that we desire to model can be viewed as a black box. To this black box, we attach a voltmeter. We read the voltage when no load is attached to the terminals. This will give us the Thevenin voltage that we should use for the voltage source. As you can see, we measure 3.012 volts. The Thevenin resistance is normally found by measuring the short circuit current between the terminals. Then using Ohm's law, the Thevenin resistance equals the voltage divided by the current. In our circuit, we will only have resistors and a voltage source. So we can find the Thevenin resistance directly by measuring the resistance of the terminals when the voltage source is shorted. We measure 10.71 kilo ohms. To build our circuit, we use 3.016 volts. There is a 0.13% error between this value and the value measured, but we expect our circuit to be accurate within 1% of the original. Here is the Thevenin circuit. A potentiometer was used as a variable resistor here. It was adjusted to 10.71 kilo ohms before the shot was taken. That's great, but does it really work? true for whatever load you decide to use no matter what the load. We just don't have time to show you all the loads today because it's a three-minute video. Thank you for joining us. Have a good day. We'll catch you next time.